Welcome to our channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain everything you need to know to get started with the new XLOOKUP function in Excel. When using XLOOKUP, you provide only three basic parameters and Excel does the rest. The value you are looking for, the lookup array where this value should be found, the return array from which you want the result. Okay, here we go. In our first example, we would like to know the sales for Steve. X lookup, bracket open. All right. The first thing is to add a lookup value. It's Steve. Now select the range which contains salespersons. Finally, select the range which contains sales. Bracket close. This formula returns sales for Steve if the name exists in salesperson column. Example 2. We would like to know whose sales are these. Type an equal sign. X lookup. Open bracket. Add a lookup value. It's $726. Select the range which contains sales. Finally, select the range which contains names. Bracket close. The formula returns the name if the name exists in salesperson column. Example 3. We would like to know who has this much profit. Type an equal sign. X lookup. Open bracket. Add a lookup value. It's $611. Select the range which contains profit. Finally, select the range which contains names. Bracket close. This formula returns the given name if the value exists in the sales column. Example 4. We would like to know who has the least in sales. X lookup. Open bracket. Add a lookup value. In this case, we'll apply the min function to find the minimum sales in the range. Select the range again. Finally, select the range which contains names. Bracket close. Example 5. We would like to know who has the most sales. X lookup. Open bracket. Add a lookup value. In this case, we'll apply the max function to find the maximum sales in the range. Select the range again. Finally, select the range which contains names. Bracket close. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to learn all about Excel, visit our website and subscribe to our channel.